This painting is uh, in perspex for a start, which is probably interfering with how you see it. But um, it purports to be a self-portrait by Filippino Lippi, the great early Renaissance master, pupil of Botticelli and exceptionally fine master in his own right. But is it? It's maybe not what it seems to be. The shape, as you can see, is very odd. It's actually on a tile, painted on a tile. And that's not entirely unknown at the time. It shows a very young man. And one of the reasons why it is one of the great treasures of the Uffizi, from the Vasari Corridor, the great nearly kilometer length corridor of self-portraits, is I think because of the expression. He's rather chubby-cheeked, his mouth is falling open, and he has these rather lazy Florentine eyes, curly hair, altogether an attractive proposition. It came into the Uffizi's collection as something else. It was thought to be a self-portrait of uh, Masaccio. Masaccio, the, the real pioneer of the early Renaissance, one of the most famous artists who ever lived, died very young. And the reason it was thought to be him is because it looks very like a self-portrait uh, on the wall of the Brancacci Chapel, which is uh, Masaccio's great masterpiece. And this young face stares out from that great um, fresco. And then, of course, in the research that went on into the Brancacci Chapel, uh, it was decided that, in fact, there were three hands at work. It wasn't just Masaccio. There was also Masolino and Masaccio's young pupil, uh, Filippino Lippi. And when they analyzed the hands, it turned out that it was Filippino who had provided the self-portrait. Now, there's one problem, and that is, in the, on the self-portrait in the Brancacci Chapel, the young man has brown eyes. If you look carefully here, he he's showing us a pair of dazzling baby blue eyes here. Now, that raises a question. If you look at the provenance of this painting, it was given to the Medici Archduke in the late 18th century by, wait for it, an artist, Ignazio Hugford, wonderful name. And when people began questioning the blue eye thing, it occurred to some people that this might not be either Masaccio or Filippino Lippi, it might be a fake by Hugford. Now, a self-portrait by Hugford doesn't have quite the same ring but nothing else in Hugford's work suggests that he was capable of this kind of subtlety. It is actually an exquisite painting. And I prefer to believe that if it's not Masaccio, it's probably Lippi. And if it's not Lippi, it is at least 15th century, as it claims. The date of it, if it was all present and correct, which I think it is, would be around 1485.